about bad, well, I don't know, the ex-expats, can you have an ex-expat? Um, I come across these people every now and again with their comments are so negative and abusive. Um, every Filipino is a prostitute, all this sort of stuff. Um, and some of them try and direct to me because obviously, oh, you're happily married, I'm not. Mm, um, what can I say on it? What, when you send me a comment like that, I just want to say it shows more about you than it does about me. The first thing I want to say is when you think all women are prostitutes, it says that you've got an issue. Um, now, if you got scammed out of money with a woman online or whatever, it does enough for my videos to tell you not to do that in the first place. Um, but one of the key elements of that is actually taking responsibility for your own stupidity. Um, because you allowed it to happen. I don't, you know, because this is the thing, it doesn't matter how it happened, at the end of the day, if you sent money and whatever, you allowed it to happen. Responsibility is one of these things that many people do not like to have anymore. Um, when I bought my van and the, uh, what do you call it, the drive shaft fell out, did I stand there blaming the guy who sold it to me? No, I could have done, but at the end of the day, it's an old van. I know that, yes, he bodged it up, but at the end of the day, so well, it's it's just a fact of life. Get it fixed, move on. Is There's no point being bitter and angry about all this stuff. Move on. I mean, this is the funny thing. These people sit here trolling Philippines channels, yet they're not with somebody from the Philippines because of whatever relationship failures they've had. Um, yeah, they'll sit there trolling. It's it's very strange because it shows you haven't moved on for a start. So there must be something you wanted from the Philippines because you spend all your days in there. Um, on top of that, the abuse that comes out of you, it shows there's something mentally wrong with you. There's a bit of this in there that is in all your life. I don't know how people get that bitter. See, the thing is, I dislike the stuff going on in the UK, which is why I give it a hard time. But it's not because I hate the country. It's because I'm disappointed with the way things have gone there. And the only reason I discuss it is I'm hoping something will change. I'm not like, I hate UK, I hate this, I hate that. It's more a case of, this is what's wrong with it. Can we put it right? Currently not. But at the same time, I'm quite happy living in Spain, so it's one of those things. So, I'd say, stop being so bitter. Go and find something to do. Take up art or something, or anger management courses or something. Do something. But sitting, sending abusive messages to people in a country you have no connection with, in a bitterness and relationship that's failed, It's beyond me. I don't know why somebody would do that. I can't understand it. I can't understand why somebody would hang on to something that they don't exist, uh, that doesn't exist in their life anymore. I mean, I've got an internet troll that's trolled me for a couple of years or more. Um, his bitterness is related to his life on um, Bahol which was a complete fabricated lie anyway. His whole version of it doesn't match the reality. Um, also, he's talk about his huge investments and everything there. When you find out his pension's only 10,000 euros. It's, it's a complete lie. Everything's a lie. He's living on a state pension, for goodness sake. He's not achieved anything. Yet, I, I don't understand these people. I mean, see, the thing is... You do what makes you happy. If you need to focus on toxic waste commenting and making fake blogs on other people and stuff, the only people, only person's life you're wasting is yours. Um, yeah, 
I just don't grasp it. I can't understand why people like it. See, I'm very blunt. I just say things as they are, and some people get really upset when I do it. Um, I had some idiot talking to me recently about the... He thinks his lifestyle was so amazing, yet he's contacting me about it for some sort of reinsurance that his life is happy. If your life's happy, you don't need somebody to tell you. Um, I don't know what else to say. You know, people need to get out more. <laughs> Enjoy life. Don't let, don't let, don't, don't take the bitter pill. Do stuff that makes you happy. Um, cause even trolling doesn't make you happy. I've seen, I've seen somebody dance around their living room. Um, because he upset somebody else on a forum before. And I just sat there thinking, you're sad. You're really sad. When your life revolves around upsetting somebody else, you have no life. That's not, that's not normal. <laughs> um. I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching.